First, uh, yesterday was also the opportunity to take stock of uh, uh, the previous period, the 2016 to 2020 strategy. And what we have observed is that uh, fundamentally on a global basis, we can expect to grow from our traditional tire business, let's say between one and 2%. But we cannot expect this market, which is already mature in a lot of regions, to grow at uh, what I can qualify a GDP plus kind of uh, uh, growth pace. So that's the first reason why we, we, we wanted to expand the group be around and beyond tires. But uh, it's not a diversification that we are doing. We are really looking for adjacencies where the group is leveraging his know hows his competencies, his innovation potential, uh, such as you mentioned, 3D printing, fuel cells, and uh, what we call polymer composites, uh, for which we have strong know-how because as we are making tires, mastering a lot of technologies, we are legitimate to expand in these territories too. Look, there are a lot of businesses that are already in the hydrogen cell market. The Japanese are there, Toyota, Honda, Hyundai is there from Korea. Um, even uh, some of the um, integrated oil businesses are very focused on setting up hydrogen cell operations at the moment. What do you think you can bring to the table that these other companies can't do, given to a certain extent you're playing catch up? No, so we are we are working. Michelin was uh, making R and Ds uh, for hydrogen for already fifteen to twenty years. Uh, a few years ago, we acquired a, a small company in France in France called Symbio, uh, and uh, last year we decided to join force with Forisia, with another uh, French company uh, as an auto supplier. Uh, and why Forestia? Because we consider that our competencies are complementary each other pretty well. For the time being, we have already uh, two major contracts with this, within this uh, GV, uh, uh, Symbio, one with the Stellantis Group for light trucks, and we just uh, get uh, a 15,000 bus uh, program uh, a few days ago uh, on top of that. The idea, we are convinced that uh, electrification is a must to decarbonize uh, the mobility, uh, the transport uh, value chain, either through battery, either for hydrogen. There will be probably place for both. And we are convinced that for higher charge and long distance, hydrogen will have an edge on, uh, let's say, uh, battery electric vehicles.